Good morning, everyone. It seems like forever that we've had the opportunity to get together as a school community. During that time, we've been faced with many obstacles. From a technical standpoint, we have confronted socioeconomic obstacles. There are very real disparities in meeting the expectations of the modern world, even in terms of the ability to afford technology. From an academic standpoint, we have been confronted with the need to be resourceful, to ask out, to seek help, to advocate. From a mental health perspective, we know that many of those closest to us, and perhaps we ourselves, were at risk. When confronted with retreating into ourselves, many of us learned a lot about how we think, how we act, and how we cope. And we realized that many of us need the support of others in helping us to overcome some personal obstacles. There have been socialization obstacles, obviously. We have come to the realization that we rely on the support and interaction with others, our families, our friends, our teachers, to keep ourselves strong. But we know that whenever we are faced with obstacles, we learn from our experiences, we know who we can turn to in times of vulnerability. We become stronger and more confident. Although I will not be able to share in your journey next year, we know that when we are able to gather as a community, we will carry with us a wealth of experiences that we will be able to share, to learn from, to grow, and to become stronger together. Thank you. Let us begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, as we come to the end of the school year, which was filled with so much uncertainty and so many challenges, we thank you for blessing us with the strength and perseverance. We give thanks to our families, friends, teachers, administration, and support staff who encouraged us throughout this year. We ask that you continue to bless all of our staff, students, and families, keeping us all safe and healthy throughout the summer. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. One generation shall add your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. I will praise your name forever, Lord. All of your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. I will praise your name forever, Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles returned from their mission. They gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. So they went away in a boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them. And they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Well, my friends, we've come to the end of a school year, a very different school year. Hopefully during this last year, besides being at home and the occasional times being here at school, it was an opportunity for you to grow as a person, to maybe discover some, some gifts and talents that you didn't know that you had, and to even think about those times that were really tough, when the whole world seemed to be in discouragement and darkness, and you found within yourselves the ability to pick yourself up and keep going. And that really is the hallmark of a disciple, someone who follows the Lord. So listen to the gospel today, the disciples had been sent out on mission and they come back to Jesus and they share with him what they have done, but they are exhausted. And so Jesus says to them, come and rest. And we know that summer vacation is that time for us to rest. And perhaps this summer more than any is an opportunity just for all of us to really relax a little bit, spend some time with family and friends, especially now that things are opening up a little bit more and soon uh, all you young people will be able to get your vaccines and make things a little bit easier. It's a chance for us just to really enjoy. Enjoy the beauty of this world, enjoy the beauty of our friends and our families, to reflect a little bit on this past year. What did we do right? Where did we mess up? And to think about September and how we can make things different. Each of us is always called to do better the next time. And the needs are always going to be there. We see that in the gospel. The disciples get out of the boat with the Jesus and immediately they're confronted by this huge crowd of people who need their love, their compassion, and their care. And so the challenge always for us is to be attentive to each other, to reach out to one another the best that we can, to be patient, to be kind, to be understanding and loving, to really reflect the light of Jesus in all that we do. This year, of course, has been very challenging for all of you, students, staff, administration, in many ways, we have all been challenged to refocus and learn new things and adapt. And you know, that too is a hallmark of a disciple, to always be flexible, to adapt, to roll with the punches, whatever life throws at us, not to let it get us down, but really just to pick ourselves up and keep moving forward. We pray that everyone has a wonderful summer, time of, of re refreshment and enjoyment. For our students who are graduating, we pray that the Lord will bless you as you head to college and university and into the workforce. We pray for our principal, Mr. Labute. Thank him for his time with us and his leadership. We ask the Lord to bless him as he moves on to his next assignment as the principal of Brennan High School. Boy, wait till next year's hockey game. He's going to be stuck right in the middle of the rink and have to cheer for both schools, I think. And for any of our staff who is retiring or moving on to a different assignment in the board, we thank you for the, the care that you have shown to all of the students. We ask the Lord to continue to guide your steps along the way. So as the school year ends, students, please take a moment even though I know it's going to be a virtual moment, but be sure to say thank you. Thank you to your teachers who have tried their very best this year to, to help you to learn in very uh, trying circumstances, and very challenging circumstances. Thank each other. I know it hasn't been easy to be in a classroom that is virtual, though perhaps some of you, if you were sitting in the Lazy Boy or on the couch during class, you might think, yeah, this has really been awesome. But I don't think that's been the experience. 
I think it's been challenging for all of us, and we look forward to being together in September. You know, life challenges us with lessons that that either we can curl up and just hope it goes away, or we can embrace the challenge with, with, with both hands and do our best together. And I think that we've been able to do that. And we'll look back 10 years from now and we'll say, boy, I discovered things about myself that I never knew I could do. Those are God's gifts to us. Be strong, be happy, be kind, continue to support one another. We'll see you in September. God bless you, lasers. response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishops and priests, especially our priest chaplain, Father Rob Rushalow, and all who minister, that they may be blessed in the joy of walking with God's people in faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour les pauvres du monde qui ont besoin de nourriture, d'abri, de vêtements et d'éducation, que nos mains généreux et notre cœur aimant cherchent toujours à prendre soin d'eux. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our graduating class of 2021, that we may always be an example of God's love and compassion to others. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of our administration, teachers and support staff whose patience and guidance have helped us throughout the year, we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our parents, families and all the special people we carry in our hearts, that God will reward them for all the love, support and encouragement they have shown to us. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our staff members who are retiring or moving to other schools. May they be blessed on their new journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Nous prions pour les maladies et ceux qui nous soignent, qu'ils reçoivent la force dont ils ont besoin. Nous prions le Seigneur. For those who have died, especially our family members and friends whom we remember at this time. May God grant them eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask that the Lord hear all our prayer intentions just mentioned and the ones we hold silent in our hearts. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hello, grads. Uh, it's my honor to be here today to offer a, a special blessing for all of our graduates. I wish I could be with you in person. Lord, we praise you for your glory and thank you for your goodness to us. Look upon our graduates with love and bless them as they leave our St. Joseph's community and move forward in life. Graduates, may God guide your footsteps as you embark upon this adventure that we call life. May you find your inspiration from above and your strength from within. May your future hold all that you hope and may all your dreams be fulfilled. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. After a year, I've come to realize the many conveniences of online school. We can sleep to the very edge of 8.53. We can get up and go to the washroom whenever we want and we can snack whenever we feel. But after a year, there is nothing I miss more than being together with my school family. And as the school year comes to a close, I have never been more hopeful for what the future has in store. And humbly, I invite you to look forward to September. Since this will be our last school gathering, I want to thank you for the privilege of leading our student council. It has been an honor. My St. Joe's family, I thank you for fighting the good fight, for finishing the race, and for keeping the faith. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we give thanks for the gift of this school year. Though it has been filled with uncertainty, we thank you for the strength to persevere. Give us confidence in your presence, remembering all that we have learned through this pandemic. Help us to appreciate that this has been a time of grace and blessings, challenges and opportunities, of joys and of sorrows. As we look forward to the beginning of our summer months, let us be truly grateful. May we cherish the gift of summer and our summer experiences. Grant us refreshment of mind and of body Guide our steps and strengthen our faith. Bless us and our families. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 